My name is Jacqueline Bush and I am an editorial and celebrity hairstylist. My clientele has included Faith Hill, Mark Ruffalo, Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jane Krakowski. I want to be able to show you that hair isn't as intimidating or as hard as you think it is and I want you to be able to have fun with it and do what your vision is with your hair. Today I'm going to show you how to tease the hair. Now there are a couple of different tools you can use to tease the hair and I'm going to show you those tools so you understand the difference and what those are going to do is show how much of a tease you get. You can tease with a wide tooth comb, you can tease with a very hard, this looks like a toothbrush but you get it from the hair store and it's very stiff, these bristles. You can tease with a teasing comb. And the reason this is called a teasing comb is because if you look, the teeth are different, shape, uh, different sizes. And lastly, you can tease with a brush. Mason Pearson brush. The bristles are very close together, and that's why you can tease with it. So I'm gonna start out showing you teasing with a toothbrush, hairbrush, toothbrush. This one you would use at the very root of the hair. This is what I use when I don't want to show that I just want a little bit of extra lift. I don't want anybody to see the teasing I've done. So I just take a little section of hair, a section of hair, Monica, can you put your head forward for me? About the size of the toothbrush in thickness. So you see it's about that size. And I'm just gonna take it and at the root, and what you're gonna do, I'm gonna come around here, is I'm gonna take the bristles of the brush and make a kind of C-shaped motion to get that teasing at the root. So I'll just show you behind so you guys can see. So now we have a little bit of teasing. The next trick, this is what's going to lock it in. You're going to spray a little hairspray. Now you're going to dry it. It's going to lock it in even further. Just for a second. Just put your head forward for me. Now as you can see, I haven't even smoothed out the top yet, but because it's a toothbrush, it's so fine, you, I hardly need to do that. But I'm gonna do it just a little bit with the same toothbrush. It gets all those little baby hairs. And put your head up for me. As you can see, it gives a little lift but still keeping it very soft and smooth. Now, using the same action, I'm gonna show you a couple of different tools just so you understand the difference. You can perform the same action with this, te it's actually called a teasing comb, this rat tail comb with the serrated edges. I'm gonna go around Monica's other side. Now this is if I want a little more lift, a little more teasing. Now depending on how much you want it teased is gonna be how thick the section is. So I have my section here. I'm gonna take my comb, and starting mid shaft, top, doesn't really matter, and I'm gonna take that down right to the base. If I tease through here, you see how that just leaves it through here? It depends on where you want the volume. Right now, I want it at the root. So I'm just gonna get right in there, right at the base of the root. So you see there's a lot of teasing created here. Now as I flip the hair over, now you can see some of the teasing showing through. So, I can take either that toothbrush or a Mason Pearson, which is a smoothing brush, and I'm just gonna smooth out the top of that. As you can see, it gives a little bit more lift. This side has a little more lift than this side. This side's a little bit more of a natural look. Now another trick you can do is take a wide tooth comb. This is a great trick if you wanted to break up your curls or give a little extra volume down here with still having it look soft, is underneath. You always tease from underneath, unless you want to create frizz. If I were to tease on top, see how it gets these nice little frizzies, which is great if you're doing a magazine shoot, but probably not so cute in everyday life, unless you like that, which is sometimes kind of fun. But you're gonna take from the bottom of your hair, and I'm just gonna do the same action brushing the comb towards the root. So pushing it in towards the root. So as I said before, you can create volume without teasing. 
But this is, this is actually a much more consumer friendly way of creating volume. It's a little bit easier. You can be out, you can have your comb in your purse and you can do this in the bathroom. The final method I'm gonna show you is how to tease with a Mason Pearson brush or a flat brush. The key is that you, you could honestly do this even with a Velcro brush or a round brush. It just, the key is the bristles need to be closer together. So I'm gonna, again, take the bristles, push them towards the root, really get in that extra volume. Push it towards the root. And as you can see, you see how much teasing that gives. Now it looks like a big rat in the rat's nest, right? So again, we want to smooth it out, which depending on the effect you want, I tend to always smooth out my teasing a little bit. The difference between cute, messy, undone, and just messy, sloppy. There you have that extra volume just by teasing underneath and a little bit of smoothing on top. And that's how you tease the hair.